Welcome back. This is the third video in the series. In this video, we'll start building out the salt states and pillars and get the core packages installed. Uh, the first thing we need to do is build out the directory structure that we laid out earlier in the previous video in the salt master file. So with that, we'll start with the uh, server salt directory and build out the structure. Probably could have just flows along the same line, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Base. So top dot is less. And we're just gonna do a base. We're gonna do star. Oops. Um. Let's do packages. Sure. Packages. That's right here, and we'll just do. Uh, doesn't really have to be anything unique. Just let's just do um, test, test, one, two, three. Okay. <coughs> so now, if we do salt star pillar dot items. We can see that piece of data that we put in there just now. Okay, so test one two three test one two three. Now come over here to the salt and base. Top dot this last same thing. Star. Let's do um, Apache. For this one, we're just going to do HTTPD, go on fpkg. installed. Okay, now we can do salt star. Actually, let's do this. Uh, just for the f just for the example of it all. Actually, you know what? Let's just run it. Let's do the salt. Okay, now, uh, just a quick explanation on this. So, um, there is actually a state.highState, and when you run state.highState, it will automatically run the top.sls file. However, when you get into big environments, you'll have more than one top file. You'll have, you know, one for the initial launch of the machines. You'll have one to maintain, you know, different things that happen on a regular basis, scheduled cron, anything like that. Um, you could have one for a dev environment, one for QA, that kind of thing. So um, <coughs> I got into the habit of just doing state.top and then calling the top file that I'm actually after instead of letting it default. Uh, but in this case, it's the same file, so it doesn't matter. Returner unavailable. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So this is the output. So we can see that it... Uh, did the install here and there and there okay and if we wanted to do something else like Apache we could also do like um, let's do this let's do salt get and we're gonna do PHP Now there isn't this variable is not yet created, so we're going to create that real quick. Pillar base, and we'll just put it in packages. It's fine. Let's do PHP. Now let's do PHP five. Okay. So it's going to see that variable and it's going to replace it right here in this little window. We need two of those though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that not an option? 
option. Oh, good grief, it's not an option. You can do 5-5 five, five or 5-6. Five, Let's do 5-6. Five, 5-6. Six. Five, six. Oops. Oh, tons of requirements. Oh, it doesn't like that because I did Apache first. All right, fine. Let's do this then. Just let it use the default. That way it'll install whatever the default was with Apache. Okay, so right now both of those two servers have Apache and PHP on them. Okay, so if we take our one of these, let's just take the dev one. Oops, oh come on. And SSH to that. Oops. Okay. So we can see now that there is Apache. We test. Okay. And we've got Apache. So, yeah, so it installed 5.3. Yikes, that's the default. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Anyway, start. Oops. Start. Okay, so that should be running. Okay. server too. Actually we can go from here so we can do this. We can just do salt. configure for now.
booster. I'll figure out that other load balancer and come back to it. So I don't think I need to use that for anything. We're not doing any internal stuffs. There we go. Okay, now. Let's try this again. Yay! Okay. So it's working now. Finally. And probably hitting different. So if we come back over here now, we can go to. First step, uh, we're using solid launch those two boxes. Um, on the next video, we'll actually go through and set up the estates, the Apache, the, the um, SLS files, and the pillars and stuff. We'll actually set all that stuff up and get more in depth. Um, I just threw those test things on there just so we can kind of shortcut it. But the punchline, the whole ideal is that. These machines would launch all independently, all on their own. So, that being said, we're going to destroy these so that uh, next time, I don't know which host are we on. Okay, so we're gonna kick over to the salt server. We're gonna destroy both of these instances. Because the idea is that you can run these as often as you want. Just kill them and relive them and relaunch them and kill them again. And then when they come back up, they'll just pick up where, you know, essentially is a fresh machine with all the stuff installed. So we're going to want to actually destroy them so that we can test, test them. Because eventually we'll want them to automatically load balance each other and auto scale and all that fun stuff. So... Uh, salt cloud map cloud maps dev delete yes okay. okay so gives us that now if we come back over here now this is what I said when I renamed him see that it's actually changed the name if I get that to move over oh, whatever see how it did this delete blah 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 with a quid on, on there that's so you can launch new ones and not have it conflict <coughs> so anyway and because I'm not going to be doing working on this tonight anymore let's go ahead and stop these and it'll save us some money so I don't have to worry about it I want to come back. Um, we can just relaunch them, restart them up, and they'll pick up where they left off. And I'm going to delete the load balancer because you're not going to have a load balancer on a dev. You'll put the load balancer on the QA, but not on a dev. I mean, you could do it on a dev, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but that's kind of beside the point. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video part of it. We'll do another one where we actually get into the salt stuff so this was just salt cloud and getting it all up and running and then we'll configure it further and, and build it out so it'll launch a production environment and auto install um, probably WordPress uh, just because that's quick and easy and it'll be good times so stay tuned to that or watch the next video or whatever I don't know what order I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna edit it anyway so it's fine <laughs>